There's nothing to worry about. Just fine. I'm your number one fan. Alright, product alert. Um, I have had three of these units. None of them work. Um, the third time I told them flat out what it was doing exactly, it'll say hi. If it'll flash zero on the screen and then it doesn't turn on. Now, if you look at the wiring, you got black, which is L ignition instead of ignition, which I've hooked to the negative terminal on the battery. You got red, which is battery positive, even though you can't really make that out. Antenna blue, of course. And then green to battery, which I believe is supposed to be negative, which I've hooked up. And you can see the power voltage is supposed to be DC 12 volts. This is a 12 volt battery that I'm using. And uh, has a charge and it does not work. I was hooked up another stereo to it and it doesn't work very good. It is the cheapest motorcycle stereo on the market. It comes with these little dinky speakers, which I will tell you sound like complete garbage. And uh, yeah, I think it's like a $20 stereo. Let me show you what you should buy. Okay, so I just set this up a little while ago and this is what the unit looks like. And uh, I mounted it. Comes with a couple different uh, handlebar mounts. Um, I had to make my own mount to make it this pretty and fit correctly. It comes with two of these speakers, which is kind of nice. They're much larger. Uh, they're, you know, I don't know how many inches around they are, like four inches maybe. Um, they have a, a huge backing to them too, so they have a lot of sound. The way I got these mounted is uh, I bought some motorcycle mounts, which are 7 8 uh, mounts. This bar is not a 7 8 uh, This is what a 7 8 bar looks like. So I uh, cut a piece of garden hose, used it as a washer, uh, and then I had to run to my hardware store because on the top of this is a, uh, a thread, which is an eight millimeter thread. So I got an eight millimeter uh, bolt and a lock washer, and I made this mount, which I screwed into that, painted it. So they, uh, they're pretty well mounted now. So let's check out the stereo. <laughs> which is pretty neat. So, to turn it on, you got your mod button right here. Just says on. FM mode. I got the volume on way too um, So it doesn't have the best antenna. So I don't recommend using it for that. Hard to see there we go. Bluetooth mode. You can make phone calls with this too. Um, it has a built-in uh, microphone, which I've tested. You're not going to be able to do it at speed, obviously. But let me uh, let me hook up the Bluetooth here, so you can hear some music on it and not static. So if it's the first time setting it up, you'll notice it'll flash Bluetooth. It'll show up in your device list as something weird, like TY something. Okay, you can have it sync to your contacts. I think that's where making phone calls or whatever. Um, let's see here. Let's set up the uh, music here so you can hear something. Turn up the volume there. All right, so here we go. What you want to do, baby? Where you want to? So you can go track, forward, and next. So turn up the volume, you just hold it down. It gets really loud. I mean, I, that is loud. It's got pretty good sound and decent bass for what it is. Um, check out the EQ on this guy. It's gonna get a lot of EQ questions. Oh, this one is actually kind of funny. It actually uh, doesn't have any EQ to speak of. Which is weird. Play and pause right there. Um, this one has a clock too. Military time. These are just
just presets going on the stereo mode. FM mode. Which you can flip between. Bluetooth mode. Um, right here you got your spots for your card reader, your Bluetooth antenna, which is where they mark it, and your USB. They just kind of all have hidden right there, and it's got this little lame cord that it comes with, which you can leave it on there, you can cut it if you want, if it bothers you. Um, there is not much to this thing. You hold down the mod button to turn power it off. off. It says power off. And there you go. It does not display the clock, as you can see when it's turned off, which is good. Or does it? Can you see that? Oh, you can see it. The clock is on. It's just not backlit. Let's see if I hit the clock button what it does. Nothing. Okay, so for anybody that's worried about drawing micro watts, <laughs> uh, yeah, this is going to uh, draw a little bit of power all the time. This guy was $40 versus the $20 one, and in my opinion, it is more than twice the stereo, considering the first one worked out of the last three that didn't, and the sound is far superior. It is louder, it has more bass, I mean, it's not a perfect stereo by any means. I put this on a scooter. Would I put this on a nice uh, Harley or something? Maybe not. Uh, I think I'd probably buy a nicer stereo. But, you know, for this application, this is where you want to be. So the motorcycle stereo that I just reviewed, and this is the box. It's all flattened because I've already thrown it away. But uh, it just says motorcycle audio. Made in China, just like everything. Um, it's your flash, USB, MP3 compatible, it's got an FM radio. I, I think I said it was a four inch speaker. It's actually a three inch speaker, 12 volt. Um, here is the model tag. Let's see. See, this is kind of funny too. Uh, this says it has a motorcycle anti-theft function. And it, I've seen pictures that they come with remotes and it's supposed to detect like when uh, there's a power surge from your battery, I guess, it'll set off like a car alarm. Um, this doesn't have that. Uh, they do have different features of it. So you can see, I didn't rip this off. This came ripped off. So um, there are different versions of this. Funny thing is, is I did try ordering this in the red color, you know, to match my, my um, scooter, but I got the black and you know what? Hey, it's cool. Uh, they got electroplating black as well and blue, electroplating red, which is kind of like, you know, chrome finish it looks like. A transparent speaker. They got all kinds of things or chromed out. Um, there's different prices for all of those things. Um, just depending on what you want. Uh, let's see. Here's the instruction booklet. It says it's a 528. I don't know that I saw that anywhere on here, so I don't I don't know what 528 even refers to. It's a bunch of garbage. But just for your guys' uh, reading needs, if you're interested in this stereo, you can pause this video and read these instructions. It, it's coming up pretty clear there. Um, here's the wiring diagram. This one's very simple. It talks about the alarm function. Oh wait, what's right here? EQ. In the state of MP3, there are four sound effects to be selected. That is really weird. I don't know what in the heck that's all about. And evidently you can, when I go to the reserves, the alarm machine is equipped with anti-theft and without anti-theft options. Okay, so fair enough. Mode switch. And like I said, yeah, you can talk on the phone. Charging function. The machine with USB charging function and the maximum output current. Oh, no kidding. Okay, so you can charge your phone on this as well. Well, I should definitely read the instructions more often. That's that. Anyway, awesome stereo. Definitely, uh... Definitely recommend it for scooters.